our long and tedious trial continues. U531 is on a heading of 240, heading towards grid BD, where we hope to stumble across some allied convoys. It has been a long and slow journey getting to where we currently are. Unfortunately, for the time being, the weather has turned against us. Four meter high swells prevent the use of our snorkel, so we will have to surface the boat well within range of allied land-based aircraft to recharge our batteries and replenish our oxygen supply. Hopefully, luck is on our side and we'll be able to get out of range of allied land-based aircraft soon. Hello everybody, Wolfpack here, and welcome back aboard the bridge of U-531 as we continue our patrol. This is a sight we don't see too often anymore, us sitting on the conning tower. Remember when we started every patrol like this, but uh, more and more frequently we have been submerged. But due to the high seas, we cannot use our snorkel reliably, so we have surfaced a boat to recharge our battery power and oxygen. So that is what we are currently up to. We have our radar operating, as you can see, just so we can catch any allied warships closing in on us uh, before it's too late. It's not foggy or anything, so honestly, our watch crew should be able to spot them as well. Um, we can dive away and hopefully get out of trouble. But yeah, just interesting because we used to start every patrol like this and uh, more and more often we've been force submerged but anyway, I'm going to go ahead and go to the map and show you folks my cunning plan. If we take a look at the map here, we have a convoy route that runs right through grid BD from England to Halifax. And there's a little gap here between grid BD and BC on the western edges, or at western edge of BD anyway. And I think we'll kind of patrol this area here. It's really this, this grid right here. Uh, so BD 74, 75 ish. That's where we are going to head right there. It is 2,060 kilometers away from our current location. So uh, hopefully we'll reach there soon. Hopefully a convoy will stumble across us as well. That's why I'm heading right for a convoy route. Uh, because honestly, intercepting an enemy convoy at this point is just not going to happen with our submerged speed. We just have to be lucky and hope one stumbles across us. Also, at this point in the war, I mean, the Allies were reading all the radio messages and they were rerouting convoy traffic away from U-boats. Uh, the game doesn't really model that at all, really, too well. So, um, just uh, another extra challenge that real-life skippers had to deal with. But uh, the benefit of this area is it's right on the outside range of Allied coastal air cover. We'll still have to deal with carrier-based aircraft out here, but uh, at least we won't have to deal with the uh, the land-based stuff, which is which is always nice. Let's see how we're doing. Batteries are almost. Oh, they are completely recharged, so we can go ahead and dive the boat. I will do that shortly, actually. Probably dive in five minutes, more or less. And I probably will surface the boat just to replenish oxygen uh, right before sunrise, just to get a a last breath before we spend the entire day submerged but that is the current plan anyway torpedo situation as is as follows as you can see here we have our fat 2 loaded up I loaded that in uh, in preparation for our convoy attack which we did not make contact with we still have our homing torpedo as well so we can use that if we get into a, a tight situation but uh, dive time is at 1915 and uh, we will remain submerged until right before sunset where I'll pop up real fast as you can see the map is looking drastically different as well the allies are closing in on both sides and it looks like Antwerp and Brussels have both been captured so yeah things are not looking too good for the Reich the end is certainly near here and also if grid BD is a bus we can continue to head south towards the Casablanca New York line uh, convoy route right here. That may be another good one. There's also a single merchant shipping line here. Shipping lane. Um, that is possible. I'm not sure how many single merchant ships will be operating, although as uh, allied merchant ships get faster and faster, it's probably safer for them to operate alone. Um, the U-boat threat has pretty much been extinguished by this point. Uh, yeah, we, we are. <laughs> it's definitely more and more difficult. Uh, hopefully this weather clears up a little bit. I think that'll end my little ramble here. Oh my gosh, it's been four minutes. 
Uh, so yeah, I think it's time to end it, and we will dive the boat. Let's go down to 25 meters. Uh, we're diving five minutes early, but you know, whatever. And down we go. All right, it's October 14th, 1944, and it's two o'clock in the morning, as you can see. The weather has gotten considerably worse, and I can't see anything, so I'm sure you folks can't. Let's get a proper yeah, weather report here. On. See what's going on. Clouds overcast, precipitation is medium, heavy fog, wind speed 10 meters per second, direction 071 degrees. So it is looking pretty rough. We are going to use this uh, storm to kind of gain some distance between us and where we were and get closer and closer to our new patrol area. So this should be interesting. Oxygen is back to normal, perfect. We are still recharging our batteries after a day of being submerged. And uh, yeah, so we are gonna use this storm to our benefit and try to uh, progress a little further down here. We're going standard speed. I'm not too worried about fuel consumption, especially because we're so close to our home base of Bergen. Um, it's not like we're going to the Caribbean or down south like we used to with our very long patrols. We're pretty limited, mostly because of our speed. I mean, it would take ages to snorkel all the way over there. So, Okay, we got a radio message. The Allies have liberated Athens, and Rommel has committed suicide. That is the news for today. The weather's still pretty poor. Let's get another report. Yeah, pretty much same as it was uh, during our last report. It's currently October 14th, 1944. We are making good progress staying on the surface, moving at around 12 knots, so not too shabby. Hopefully we'll get to this area in this storm. Oh, we can we can hope. <laughs> we'll see, though. Okay, it is October 15th, 1944, 7 o'clock in the morning, and the weather has completely cleared up, so we will return to operating completely submerged and utilizing the snorkel as we can use the snorkel in these conditions which is quite nice nothing has been spotted or detected on hydrophones at this point so uh, we are good to go thankfully we made good progress in the storm so it was nice to have that sort of cover anyway i figured i'd just give you a brief update on that scope down and we're going to drop down to 25 meters and uh, continue slowly crawling onward Well, here we are in grid BD-71. We're kind of where I wanted to be, and we've been here for about a day now. It's October 21st, 1944, and so far we haven't encountered anything en route to this area. I was kind of contemplating heading even closer to the Canadian coast, maybe even the Gulf of Maine here, uh, just around maybe just these waters out here, outside of these shallows, and trying to intercept convoys there. The problem is, of course, it is mighty dangerous as there are a lot of aircraft patrolling this area, but uh, our chances of finding something may be better <laughs> in any case. So we'll keep this in mind. Uh, if I don't find anything here within the next couple of days, we'll probably start heading that way. We did get a radio message here uh, from the radio news. U.S. troops have captured Aachen and breached the Siegfried Line. The first kamikaze attack has taken place on a heavy cruiser HMAS Australia during the Battle of Leyte Gulf. And that is the news for today. Anyway, I'll keep you folks updated. The weather's really calm right now, so we've been utilizing our snorkel at night. Actually just recharged our batteries um, right before recording this. So um, that's the current plan of action. I'll keep you all updated as we continue to pluck along. Well, it's October 23rd, and the decision has been made. We're going to head it towards the Canadian coast here and see what trouble we can stir up. Not a single thing has been detected in this area, so we'll head to, hopefully, greener pastures. Okay, right after ending that one, we got a report here, six minutes ago, apparently, of a ship heading west-southwest. Speed is slow. Let's, let's see here. West-southwest speed is slow. Something like that. And they're probably going around, oh, let's let's guess seven knots for now. 
their speed is actually they're probably at the higher end like 10 knots but we'll just hmm let's go with eight okay eight knots and four four hours actually in one hour they'll go 14 15 kilometers we'll just round up here 15 kilometers in one hour let's see how far away are we we're actually relatively close so i'm fairly confident we may be able to give chase we're at periscope depth that's currently eight o'clock in the morning now um that is going to cause some issues it's going to take 11 hours up scope how bright is it i can already tell it's going to be yeah it's pretty bright so we can actually use our snorkel at higher speeds now um, I think the reason we were limited to slow speed previously is because we did have some damage down scope. Should I risk it? Can probably get there and now we're going 18 knots. What's our battery power at? Battery power's fine at like 90%. Okay. Let's try it. Surface the boat. It is calm enough so we can use our anti-aircraft guns if it gets to that point. Also, this gives us a chance to finally repair those things. They've been damaged for <laughs> the past, like, month. Okay. Boat's coming up. All right. Look at that. I don't think my men have seen such a lovely sunrise in, in ages. We have our radar on. I'm okay with that for the time being, believe it or not. Uh, get this man up here. Is everyone well rested? Everyone's okay. Diesel crew's fine. All right, get a repair team on. Start repairing that. We'll get you up there as well. Don't want anybody left out. There we go. Yeah, everyone's surprisingly... Okay, the control room guys are a bit tired, but everyone's surprisingly okay in terms of endurance. All right, how long is it going to take us? Four hours. We're only going seven knots there. Um... Standard propulsion, please. We want to pour on the coals here. Don't want to be caught with our pants down by some uh, allied aircraft either. I'm sure all the Dawn patrols are going up right now. I think we will be able to get there within the hour. 14 knots, an hour 50. Mm, okay, cutting it close, cutting it close. So in two hours, he'll move 30 kilometers. He'll be at this point. We'll, uh, we'll just jog our course around. We'll be here in one hour and 50 minutes. There we go. I should be fine. Debating shutting off my radar. Let's do it. Let's turn off the radar. Don't want the allies picking up those signals. We do have our radar detector, so... Hopefully... It'll do its freaking job. Okay, now we're now we're cooking with fire. 18 knots, hell yeah. We could even push it to flank and probably squeeze out an extra knot. Let's do it. Uh, flank. Yeah, I'm going 19 knots. It's fluctuating a little bit, but okay. In five minutes, I'll go back down to full. Don't want to bust our diesel engines. 30 minutes. Okay, I think we are probably good to submerge the boat. Look at that. Enjoy those rays, boys. You won't be seeing them for a while. I'm down to Periscope. Hopefully we got this guy. And <laughs> anti-air guns are still not repaired. That's all right. How long do they have? It's only flat gun number three, too. That's damaged right now, so. It's our quad. I just want these sailor. I just want sailors in the diesel room. Just try to try to do some organization here. All right, looking good. That's saying nine meters. Let's drop down to 30 meters and slow down so we can hear something. 
Give it a few minutes. Once we reach 30 meters, I'll hop on the hydrophone and take a listen. <gasps> 280. I don't know if you can hear that. Very faint. Anything else? Okay. In a pretty good position, so he's off here. Oh, he's probably in this area. Something like that. So we have beaten him. I think that we can make the remainder of our approach submerged. See if our hydrophone operator will pick him up shortly. I just want to keep tabs on him. Sounds like a lone merchant ship, although I can't be too confident in that. Let's head this way. We can head directly. Is that 300 now? Uh oh, periscope depth, please. I'll see you again. Got him. Oh my gosh, it's neutral. I can see lights already. My day is ruined. Is it, is it just the one? It is. Oh, let's see what it is. Let's go take a look. Let's see, where's our boat? off in this direction so there it is oh there's actually two well, hopefully they're both neutral oh there may be three here hopefully they're all neutral not I'm cheating but yeah it looks like they're all it looks like it's a big honking tanker in the lead why wouldn't it be why not you know uh this game you're killing me yep tanker t3 Oh, my goodness. Okay, well. Time to go, I suppose. Thanks for nothing. Well, it's October 28th, 1944, and as we get closer and closer to the East Coast here, we're picking up more and more, or getting more and more radio reports of enemy task forces. This one's heading southwest, which is of some concern, and warships just operating in the area. This one's heading north-northwest. Still a concern, as it's pretty close, but we have gotten quite a few of these in the past, so there's lots of enemy hunter-killer groups and warships operating in this area. It kind of seems like we're sailing into a hornet's nest, but we'll see. We'll see what goes on. Like I said, it's October 28th, 1944. We departed on September 16th, September 18th, 1944. So, man, we have been at sea for quite a while, and it's going to be a long time before we reach home. But anyway, we'll uh, continue going on. Um, nothing to report since our encounter with those uh, neutral Irish ships. Uh, we have been utilizing the snorkel. The weather hasn't gotten any worse and forced us to surface. So we've been doing this whole approach to merge. Okay, we got something. A ship heading east. Speed is slow. Let's go ahead and plot this out. Heading east. Speed is slow. We're going to go with eight knots once again. And it's going to take a while to get there. Um, also, there's quite a few hunter-killer groups in the area. This one's heading south-southwest. Speed is fast. So that is... How far away are they? Still five, 450 kilometers away. We may be able to give chase to this contact and figure out what it is and make our attack. Um, what time is it? It's currently, God damn it, 8 o'clock in the morning again. Up scope. And it's pretty bright. The weather has gotten a little bit worse. I didn't even realize that. Hmm. Oh, do I chase them down? Do 
Okay, so let's say and probably take like four hours to get there going seven knots, 51 kilometers. 51. There we go, something like that. And now let's see, going, let's see, our max speed in, in these seas, probably 16 knots and four hours, we'll be able to move 118 kilometers. That is not even enough. Oh yeah, it's a long ways, it's 200 kilometers. We're not gonna be able to make it and I don't wanna risk surfacing near all of these uh, warships and hunter killer groups. Uh, we need to maintain our, uh, our stealthy approach and I don't wanna blow it, so we'll stay submerged and uh, continue heading on. Hopefully we'll find a convoy or something here shortly. All right, we're in the waters. I kind of want to linger around. I don't want to get too much closer to Halifax and Sydney here, if I can help it. We got a convoy report heading west-southwest, though, and it's heading away, so I'm not going to be able to catch it, unfortunately. But it is good to know that there's actually convoys here. So hopefully we can get some departing these waters and heading towards Europe. Okay, we got a warship contact. Medium speed closing, bearing 327 degrees. Our hydrophone operator just picked him up. And he's awfully close. He's only three kilometers away, 3.4 kilometers away. I don't know what he was doing, taking a nap on the job. But this thing's awfully close. I already rigged the boat for silent running. Let's actually set up for a stern torpedo tube shot. Upscope. You better follow this guy. Let's get a weapon officer on station. Okay. No sound contact. Are you... What is wrong with you? This guy has been... Has done fairly well in the past. Look how close that is. Destroy your escort. I can't make it out. It looks American, though. Uh, let's figure out what this is. Kind of... It actually looks like a Buckley class to me. Or an Everts. Buckley, let's see. Kind of looks like it has the two guns. Oh, actually, it might be an Everts here. Yeah. Lock that in. Enemy warship grid BB58 northwest 12 knots. Okay. Let's try to establish... This thing's booking it. Let's try to establish a relative course here. Looks like the target is heading... One, nine, six degrees. One, nine, six degrees. Set up. We have our homing torpedo. We're going to use uh, tube six. Not going to utilize our homing torpedo. Tube six. Angle on bow still adjusting. We'll try to get speed here soon plug in 10 knots she's moving kind of fast let's just preemptively do 12 range it's like three marks yeah oh. 2.5 kilometers slowly but surely turning Oh, God. Did she hear us? That is less than ideal. Okay, tube five it is then. Lock on target. Speed. Okay. Uh, and she is zigzagging. Complete this turn. Yeah, she heard us or something. No surprise, really. Okay, rudder amidships. Pretty much heading. Oh boy. Hang on, Bell. Let's just do zero. Okay, that was unexpected. I'm not hearing ping. Oh, there goes the lights. I'm gonna 
that's not good. Cyber heading east. I can't get an accurate speed reading here, so hopefully the homing torpedo will be able to pick it up. She is booking it though. Let's reduce speed to like zero. We'll just have it run straight. The torpedo should just head 180, right? Yeah, pretty much. Perfect. Open tube five. All right, tube five. Los. Down scope. Down to 140. And start moving a little quicker. A little quicker. Hopefully the torpedo picks up that destroyer. That is mighty unfortunate. These allied uh, sonar operators and Hydrophone operators are definitely much better. The torpedo is running at a good depth as well. That should hit the target just fine. In real life, uh, a lot of escorts did have decoys like foxers to uh, throw off these homing torpedoes. I guess thankfully for us, that's not modeled in the game. Although I would love to see it, I want to be honest. We'll watch it. Once it starts squiggling, we'll know the torpedo is locked onto something. Okay, it's squiggling. It's got her. Okay, yeah, that's looking damn good. It's going for the engines. Let's see. Come on, come on, come on. You can do it. No. It missed. Okay, the torpedo ran past. It looks like it may be circling back around, though. Oh, this isn't good, actually. The torpedo is circling back around. Okay, time to change course. Okay, torpedo's coming back around for the target. Here's her engines. There's a torpedo right here. I don't know how much of this you folks can see due to, uh, you know, YouTube's compression and all that, but it does look like it's heading for the engine room of the destroyer. Oh boy, here's the moment of truth. I hope this thing isn't on this attack run. We're still, we're only at 50 meters. I didn't want to go flank and the off chance that the torpedo homed in on my own engines, that would be catastrophic for sure. But it looks like we got her here. Uh, any moment? It missed again? Come on, you little torpedo, you can do it. Is it running under the... The vessel. Oh my god. It is running on. Oh, we got it. There we go. Wow. Oh my gosh. We were lucky there. It's amazing how quiet it got. That killed her engines. She's going down. Wow.
Well, that is going to conclude today's episode. Obviously, that final attack did not go to plan, but thankfully our homing torpedo pulled through and was able to dispose of the threat A-OK. -okay. Um, I was kind of worried when the torpedo kept missing its target, though. I was getting a little nervous, but anyway, it all worked out in the end. Uh, we'll continue to hunt in these waters. There seems to be quite a few convoys in the area, so hopefully we'll stumble across one of them in the next episode. Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed it. Thank you all for watching. As always, this is Wolfback345 signing off, and I will see you all on the next one.